Well, in honor of National Handwriting Day today, we thought we'd get a little fancy. And here to teach us the finer points of calligraphy is owner of AP Calligraphy Company, Alyssa Woodyard. We're so glad you're back. It's so good to be back. Happy National Handwriting Day. I didn't know it was a thing until you told me so. Hooray. Hooray. Let's celebrate. That's <laughs> right. And so you actually do calligraphy, which is basically just fancy writing. It is. And it looks nothing like my day-to-day -day handwriting. No? No. How did you get started? <laughs> doing calligraphy I was thinking about that when I was driving and it's been about 10 years but I remember when I was in grade school I would just kind of doodle on my notebooks and try to write my name as many different ways as I could so it kind of evolved over time into helping for weddings and trying to make it a real deal well yeah and speaking of weddings here's some looks at um, your artwork because basically this is base like art right yeah how did you do that, though? <laughs> Lots of practice. And the one that you just saw was on plexiglass, so I could erase, oh. which is always helpful. But However, this is not. That's watercolor, and I just try to experiment with different themes that the bride is wanting for her day, and it's fun to just be creative and see what I come up with. So what has started as kind of a fun hobby has now turned into a business yes, for you. thanks to a few brave friends that let me be, you know, I was their guinea pig, and kind of got to practice at my own wedding recently, so it's nice to just be able to showcase something I enjoy and help others with their special day or event. You've brought in some of the tools that you use. Yeah. So uh, what do you need to do calligraphy? Special pens, markers? Pencil. A that's pencil a, That's and all paper. you need, but you can get as fancy as you want. So I've got kind of the basics with Crayola markers and then all the way up to, you know, these are fancier where they've got a longer tip on them. Mm -hmm. And then some more brush markers that look, you know, you can change your width with them. And then I really like this one. It's liquid chrome is what it's called. So if you can see that on the camera, it's pretty shiny. Oh, it is. And then my last new toy is actually a original calligraphy dip pen. So it uses ink and this little nib or metal point at the end. Okay, now looks that, like a wand. that <laughs> looks very fancy. So you actually use ink that you dip it into. Yes, I'd be happy to show you. Okay, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Give me a word. Um, a how word. about um, love? Okay. Valentine's Day is coming it up. It is. So I just kind of dip it in there and it doesn't sound the greatest, and I'm a little nervous, so I'm shaking a little bit, but you want to press down hard and then kind of come up light, and that kind of gives it the thick and thin effect. That How you're do you for. know, though, when to go thick and when to go thin? I'll Lots, that and that was definitely not my best go of it, but that's okay. <laughs> um, so anytime you're writing a letter, and even if you're just writing in print, like if you're making an H and you start top down, you press hard and then you go up light and then kind of hook it back down so with more pressure. down hard up light. That is the key. Okay. Yes. And you can do that same thing even just with like your kids school markers. So you press down and then come up light. And I guess I'm doing H for your name today. Oh, well yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, so if you are using markers, use like kind of the broader side. Yeah. And then the tip when and you And it's come just up. all about you know, I press down hard and then I'm kind of leaning on the tip and then coming back down hard again. Oh my goodness. Okay, let me try. Yeah, I'm gonna grab take something. A, I'm gonna take a, a blue marker. And, and the only thing with the ink here, I'll give you a clean one, is that it does take a little bit of time to dry. Oh, so good point. I've accidentally flipped one over and got my desk all inky. Okay. Again, so. so if <laughs> I wanted to make like... Can you come up? Well... You got the I'm first gonna, part. I'm gonna have to keep practicing. <laughs> There's my age, but I'm we're unfortunately running out of time, but I want to make sure people know how they can get in touch with you if they want to give, you know, a little extra flair yes. to their um, wedding invitations or just invitations in general. So I think you're seeing my logo on the screen and the website that I have is the exact same name as my company. So apcalligraphy.com and my email is on there as well. So you can send a form through me and I'll get back to you. Okay, you're on Instagram. You Instagram, Facebook. Not all the Twitter, social media. every other social media there is. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. And I'm guessing, you know, this is something that does take some time. So 
several weeks notice is probably best. Yes, I do rush orders when needed, but I prefer to have more time than just a few days. Well, it is just so pretty. I love it. I'm going to keep practicing because I want to get this um, art down. If you need any more information about Alyssa's services with AP Calligraphy Company, um, head to sarahliving.tv. We'll be happy to share her with you there. Happy National Handwriting Day. Thanks for having me.